What's going on, y'all? Full Metal Fan, I'm back at it again with another part of Valhalla. So, um, in the last part, interesting stuff happened. I had a hornball named Dorothy walk into the club, or the bar, whatever you want to call it. She was she was acting mad suspicious, man. We had um little pop star like idol, kind of like Kiramiki, and we also had Jamie. So, boom. And the boss um didn't know how to take the helmet off from um from say, but um. I'm not sure who's gonna visit the bar today, but I already did all I can before the last part ended, so I'm just gonna go straight to work. It's Thursday. We got bills to pay and shit. Oh. Oh. Evening. Oh. Hi there. Oh my. Oh my god. God. Hmm. Hold on. I gotta regain composure, bro. I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. Oma, oh she looking good, man. Ah, Leonidas. Bro, everybody got different names for my boy Gil. Gillian. Marcelo. I stumbled across her on my way and asked if she wanted to tag along. Hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. Where's boss? She didn't put the helmet on again, did she? She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. All right. Alma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Right. Thanks. The jukebox, baby. All right, we finna change all that. Time to mix drinks and change lives. That's an amazing thing. What was that? Oh, it's just something that made me say back in instruction. <laughs> it kind of stuck. Huh? I went to school. I went to a school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. That habit didn't rub off until high school or so. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh yeah, look at this. A glass with a signature. To J D um. I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. Wait, she just got her finger up. That Kira Miki girl came here yesterday before a concert, actually. Oh yeah? Now I see her name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like B-Link more, actually. I hope you meet her. The stoic-looking duo, right? Yep, those. Ah. Seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had a breakup with Damien. Damn, L-mans, L-mans. How could you? I see. Want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alma, we've known each other for, what, a few months now? I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. You say you broke up, but there's <laughs> there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. Damn, that's, yeah, she playing the mind games. Hmm. You could pretend to be more interested, you know. Like my mom says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. That's a good saying. That's a good saying. I should write that down. Let's go. Let's go into the books. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? A frame? Yeah, for all those pics you have of your boss, the ones filling your phone's memory. Some seem sneakily taken at that. Is that true? Wait, why do you? Why do you care? How the hell did you find that out? Oh, that's a secret. A little smug, little smile. So it is true. <laughs> Yo, why is bro in the back just talking? Shut up. <laughs> I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker. Oh, she hacking, bruh. Oh, I really like this one of her sleeping in her office. I think I'll copy it. You. Hey, can you make me a bad touch before <laughs> we keep arguing? <laughs> sure. Pizza with double cheese and... Wait, no. This is a bar. Said a bad touch. That's kind of what she is. A bad, a bad little thing. I got you. I got you. On the rocks and mixed. Ah, look at that! Look at that! There you go. Here. Who gives these drinks their silly names? Usually the one who registers it. Some people have quite the silly sense of humor. Like that girl who keeps laughing over the, this particular drink's name? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, 
Who's Damien again? The one with the nice car. Damn, she automatically pointed out the material possession. That's crazy. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but that car was what caught my eye. Yo, is she a gold digger? And what was wrong with him? Turns out he was a, a LARPer. LARP? Live action role playing. Sounds more like the, a nick, the nickname of some very heavy handed writer or a military organization. What did he role play as? Have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? Those events where people barely dress, stink, roll in mud, and fuck in the open? <laughs> Dude, that sounds wild. Those are hippies. Yeah. He frequents those, and it's something I'd rather not deal with at all. Ah, I understand them. I understand. If I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my partner in what he does, but if it's something like that... See, that's the problem right there. You say breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time you're still getting to know him. Think about it. Have you ended your longest lasting relationship for things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever, but I'm still sorely disappointed. And at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? Last night. Your cat doesn't count. <laughs> A year ago. It was messy. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I would have pushed Fuckboy over there into a closet ages ago. Fuckboy. <laughs> People have different needs and priorities. Yes, but you don't miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs? Putting your head on their chest, listening to them breathe as they pet your head? Dozing off knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you? Still. Anything I can make you to shut up and drink? I'll have you know that my uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Damn, she touching on the little sensitive topics. Drinking won't stop me from talking or making tasteless puns for uh, Aunt Rosa. Still, get me something weird, would you? Huh, ventriloquism. Weird, a weird drink. Yeah, something different. Experimental, uncommon. Let's see. Same dialogue at the bottom. Um... What? What is something weird? I wonder what I'm gonna do with with this. What can I do with this? Oh, I can put that in there. Okay, okay. Why though? Why would I? No way. Nope. This looks pretty common to me. I'll take it anyways. But no tip for this one. You know, your orders are weird today. I actually didn't even like think that was gonna work, but whatever. They are? Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a Brantini and then something like a Cobar Velvet or something similar. Well, I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason you left Damien is because he was too deep into routine. Maybe. Hey, speaking of routines, uh, as a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing? That's the silence of somebody who just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to warrant the speech they prepared just for occasions like this. As always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago, there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. Can't remember what they used to call themselves, I just remember that it was just pretty uh, petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist identity. The whole Alice underscore rabbit thing is the, the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches uh, its breaking point and goes mainstream. It is no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything anyone does. Observing, tolerating no one but itself. A lot of bullshit for what's essentially uh, a pet press made of. The antithesis of your usual boogeyman if you must. So you don't think such a person exists? Don't know, don't care. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity, but it might be anything, an individual, a group, an AI. That's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name.
So Alice underscore rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's also really muddied overall. There's something else that worries me, though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risk or consequences. Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens uh, broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me, and it's thanks to that damned Alice underscore rabbit thing. I see. But enough of that. There's a more pressing matter at hand. There is? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out some time. For too long. Oh, that. I mean, yo, if they're up to me, <laughs> every day. We can hang out every day. Do you hate me that much, Joe? Does my presence make you that uncomfortable? No, I... At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment the way you, <laughs> the way you can't just say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. We could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. You know, you need some human warmth in that place. Your tits alone will fill my entire bathroom. Man, you react too nonchalantly, it's no fun. You act a little bit... <laughs> easy for a second. I refuse. In all seriousness though, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? Ah, I mean, it's it's not a date. I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm not a morning person. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. The earliest I've asked you out is 10 a.m., you know. That's early morning by my standards. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out. I just don't want to wake up early. You are hopeless. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna need another drink here. Like, say, a uh, big brantini. Finally, that's the alma I know. The lead actor of Night of the ID Snatchers. It was, ah, I can almost remember it. She said a brantini, brantini. She said a big brantini. Matter it? Do I have to add double that? Uh, who cares? Who cares, man? We up. All aged mix. Got a big brand. I got a. Here you go. Yo, do you advocate the bullshit about size not mattering? Damn, I, I knew I messed up. Fuck. Because this better be some concentrated shit to justify its teeny size. You know, I was wondering. Yeah? Don't you worry about what the people you work for might be doing with the information you provide? Not really. No? Do you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Not really, most of the time. Well, neither do I. Why should you? Do you get people drunk? Some say my beauty is intoxicating, but that's besides the point. I get my payment, do my job, and forget about the whole thing. You make your job sound so easy. Once you understand what precautions to take, it's no problem, and I've always found my job fun. However, most of my contacts are uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Consult, well, consultancy uh, based gigs. It's not like every day's a thrill. Do you meet with your client or? I don't. It's always from behind as many filters as I can manage. I remember I once did a job where I had a couple of kids relaying my letters for security reasons, right? Actually, because the way I lose a lot less time, because that way I lose a lot less time. I don't have to deal with clients hitting on me or pestering me after the job's done. I also don't have to lose time proving my worth because big boobs equal small brain or some shit like that. I mean, protecting my identity is one of the reasons, but the few times I've shown myself... Ugh. They weren't even risky or dangerous jobs, just run-of-the-mill security checks. I don't know, maybe I need to show up as a... a dis... Oh. I've never seen that word before. This, this evil nerd or something. Give them what they expect to see. Or I just don't show up and save myself the trouble. Why all the questions? Just things I've been curious about and always forget to ask. So many Alice Rabbit uh, headlines have made me wonder about the hacking business too. Oh, I'll remember to ask you things next time then. Well, I'll take my leave now. See ya. No, don't leave. Stay, please. Take care. Hello, sugar. Ow. 
<laughs> Hello, Mr. Donovan. Oh, man. He's back again, bro. He couldn't talk about her tits, bro. Like my pop used to say, never touch the ass moon with metallic arms. I think it's more like plastic and carbon fiber. They're hard as fuck, and that's all my abdomen felt. Do you normally greet people that way? I'm a man that can't contain himself when he sees something he likes, kid. Oh, but don't worry. You're safe. <laughs> You're flatter than the, than the field at my summer house. A bit of advice. You shouldn't provoke the one serving you drinks or food. Don't be offended, kid. You have your audience. I'm just not part of it. Today, I'm making this a quick one. Gotta tend to business in a while. Having said that, I'll just have the usual. The usual, he says. Uh, yo, okay, this time, um, last time I gave him just a regular, a regular beer. So let's try making, let's try doubling it. You know I had to double it. Try doubling it. Um, the usual. Sure, that this will work. I don't know if that was a difference. I think it might have. Been a few days since I played this game last time. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? That girl I interviewed yesterday is coming in in a couple of weeks, so I was working to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm not even D. Dawson. I always get what I want. Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of other outlets, but the end result is what matters. I see. What blackmail? You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you find out when you get the right people drunk. Hmm. Hey, the signature on that glass over there. Ah, oh yeah. That big titted Lilim was here. He came yesterday before the concert, yeah. Anything juicy come out of her visit? No. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, there has to be something. Well, her love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that shit. Throw me a bone here. Anything. I've got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for you to spill the beans? I'm serious here. You said nothing that could be used against her or that you didn't already know. Fine. There are many of your interns women, Mr. Donovan? All of my interns are women, kid. Every single one of them. It's a pack of hungry, desperate bitches. Damn. Why only women? Did you ever watch Race for Hope? The movie? Yeah, a movie about a journalist looking for clues regarding a murder. That tacky movie had everything, romance, action, a dog with sunglasses. It also sold this weird fantastical image of what journalism is. I'm guessing lots of girls saw it in high school and wanted to become journalists. And now I have to deal with that shit. How can you be so sure? My first brother-in-law was a doctor. He said that a couple of years after that emergency heart movie, all of his interns were women for a long while. And this why you don't let brats that barely understand what responsibilities are pick a career. Um, do you perhaps know a girl named Kimberly Lavalette? Doesn't ring a bell. Who is she? Um, nobody. Forget I said anything. Any interesting uh, uh, preview of tomorrow's news? You expect me to share my information when you wouldn't share your scoop on the singer? How can one share when there's honestly nothing to share? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. Have you heard of a group called the Harbingers? Not really, no. There's some group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. I read their manifesto in the bathroom once. Interesting piece and even better makeshift toilet paper. They talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob bosses or something like that. I think I've heard about that somewhere. What of them? 
They sent a message to some outlets saying they are proof of their claims. They have proof of their claims. That they're gonna release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, that'd be interesting to see. I think. I know, right? Alright, kid. Give me a bleeding Jane so I can call it a day. Okay. The order was, um, what, what I'd like to say, uh, rabbit? Bleeding Jane. I have never made this yet. Okay, one Bronson powdered. Blended, okay. Blended, blended, blended. That looks pretty simplistic. Here. Simple enough for you, I see. So, I've heard this, uh, this is Dana Zane's bar, is it true? Yeah. Never thought I'd hear about the undefeated of the West again. Or so, after that incident with the pears, where is she? Yo, every time she gets brought up, it's some crazy rumor. Stop running with some air bears? Six years ago, a cash-strapped Dana Zane entered an underground ring for money. Faced 10 enraged grizzly bears, she beat them all without killing them. I heard she set them free afterwards, too. And you were there? I was drunk and bored, what can I say? Do you know if she lost her arm there? Can't remember, too drunk. Maybe she had a prosthetic then, too. I heard someone there suggest that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of some stadium. She threw it so hard her arm fell off. What? But that sounds more like an <laughs> unsubstantiated rumor. More like something she made up. <laughs> well, I gotta go. Next time you see Dana, thank you for winning me my second yacht. I knew betting on her was the right choice. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn, that was like a, the, a very fast first half of the shift. All right, let's save it. <laughs> ah, jukebox. I already did jukebox stuff. So. Ah, boss, you're back. Yeah, sorry about not being here earlier. What were you doing? I had a brief meeting with my BTC regional manager. Oh, everything all right? As all right as it can be, considering that we're closing eventually. When will that happen? I don't know. Brian said we'll be safe for a few months while the paperwork is filed and everything is being put in order. Oh. I was also talking to him about you. About me? Yeah, I was telling him to do uh, whatever it takes to ensure you don't spend too much time without a job. If possible to reassign you ASAP after closing. Hey, if it helps, Brian might be the angriest of us all. They want to close the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any headaches, he said. Eh. What about you, Gil? He's the one that worries me the most, actually. He's kind of working using the credentials of another guy that was working here before. So he is an immigrant. Who? The one who bought a uh, alleviation... A levitation potion and then threw himself off a building. Ah, yes, the levitation potion story. Use weird, uh, uh, euphemisms, boss. Anyway, I find it hard to believe that Gil will find a job after all this. Just who is Gil? I have an idea of who he is, but I'm still putting pieces together. Anyway, back to work. Imminent closure is no excuse to slack off. Yes, sir. You guys do know I can hear you, right? This place looks familiar. Excuse me, is this the Valhalla bar? Who is this, bruh? It is indeed. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh god, what is safe landing now? Oh, is this her friend? Excuse me? I want a drink whose name was changed after many women protested. Can you get me that? Sure. What does she want? Hold on. Oh, I can't. I can't use the, the little dialogue scroll. Okay, I'm a bartender at a tender bar. <laughs> um, at a protest. Um. Oh, bleeding Jane, bro. Come on. 
That has to be it. That has to be it. Ain't no way that's not it. Protest, riot, whatever they call it, man. Here you are. Sai, you just gave up midway through, didn't you? Eh? But you know, say, miss. My name's in the payment registry. Stella. Oshi, is that right? Why not just tell me directly, though? Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yes? Yep, in fact, I'm glad you know her because she left this here last time. Oh, God. So she left her helmet behind again. Not the first time, huh? Her helmets have been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. Ballets, nurses, um, morticians, fire jugglers. I've been lucky enough to always leave it with people who return it, at least. Whoa, quite a few people. She's as much of a sociable girl as she is a total klutz. At least when she's not being serious, she's very competent um, when she puts her mind to it. I see. So, did she recommend you this place, or... I'm just waiting for her here. Hmm. Say, is this... Is that Kirimiki girl's uh, autograph on that glass? Seems like the glass is a conversation starter. Nice. Yeah, it is. How did you get it? Stopped here yesterday just before that concert. Really? I mean... You did? <laughs> yeah, nice girl. Can I see it? Sure. Yep. This star-like signature is hers. So your name's Jill then? Yes. Ain't this nice. Here you go. You like her, Miss Stella? Let's call me Stella. And I've only listened to a couple of her songs, honestly. They're, they're catchy, I guess, but that's it. But look at her blushing and stuff. That's a cute little sprite. I see. He's such a bad liar. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hello? Where the hell are you? Car crash? Oh god, you're helping. <laughs> but take long? Alright. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I take it that was say. Yes. Will you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like having another drink. One that was prepared in memory of its creator's dearest friend. Alright. What the? What? What are these? What is she talking about? Memory of a dearest friend. What? What memory of a dearest friend? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just let's look at the captions real quick. Come on, we gotta go all the way to the beginning. Honestly, I have no clue, so I'm just gonna give her a piano woman, bruh. Sorry, brother, you gotta be more specific with me, cause I ain't finna go through this whole menu looking. Here. Maybe I'm being too cryptic, but you should know these uh, ones already. Not wrong. Can I ask you something that might be personal? It isn't about my eye, is it? No, it's not, or at least I don't think so. I don't get to serve many cat boomers, so it's something I've been curious about. Did you go through the procedure because of a disease, or because of the fad? I'd rather not talk about it. My deepest apologies, then. It's fine. Your coworker has been acting strange for a while now. Hey, Gil, you okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna take my break. Seems my allergies have started acting up. Allergies? Yeah, yeah, stare at the cat-eared girl when, when allergies enter the fray. How classy. I said nothing. So, uh, Gil and Jill, isn't that confusing? Sometimes, yeah. Oh, the way the little cat ears just move, it's so cute. Look at that. Sorry I'm late. Welcome. Oh, it's her. You took your sweet time. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I got caught in the rush hour traffic too, and I figured walking might be faster. 
Luckily, there was a building with emergency stairs nearby. I climbed down. Climb down? Look an air cab. Oh. I would suggest using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you put safety first. Safety? No, no. Flying cars are just way cooler. Still don't understand how they give you... How they, they don't give you motion sickness. If I find out how to avoid it, you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. I'd like a drink that was... You're at it again. You and your cryptic orders always leaving us with weird stuff. Hey, I expect only the best from whoever serves me. They need to be able to answer these, these kind of orders. Still, I'm sure you're wearing poor Jill out here with that kind of stuff. Maybe. Whatever, please order something normal, would you? That'll be two fringe weavers, then. You'll have two drinks at once? No, we're sharing. What, like half a glass for each? Isn't it better if it's like one for each? Don't worry, you'll see. Two fringe weavers. Oh shit, I dozed off. Okay, so we need two fringe weavers. All right. One fringe weaver, one fringe weaver. Two friends weavers. Two friends weavers. So, this one's for you and this one's for me. You said you wanted whatever I asked for, right? Ooh, that way you could have said so earlier. Mhm. Mm oh yeah, here. Hey, so this is where I left my helmet. Thanks. You really need to be more careful with the, your things. Yeah, but I have spares. Those spares should be saved for when the one you're using breaks or malfunctions, not when you lose it. Those helmets cost money, you know? Yeah, sorry. Did I say that boss got her head stuck because of a jam button? Speaking of money, still going to that meeting at the bank tomorrow? Yep, you worried? I'll refrain for now. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Don't be, I'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. Rumors? They say something might happen at the bank tomorrow. But with all that tension in the air lately, it's hard to know if it's true. As if the fear mongering wasn't enough, the people have also started spreading baseless rumors. Just yesterday I had to stop a group of rampaging youngsters that heard the city would be leveled by bombs. Ugh, everyone's on edge. Yeah. I know you're worried, but I have to go there. It's orders from the higher ups. Tell me something. If somebody came after me, you think they'd stand a chance? You're quite strong, but I'll take something to protect myself. Be prepared for anything. Would that make you feel safer? Aw, she cares. Maybe. I'll tell you what, after I come back, we'll get some ice cream. That way, you can vent all your frustrations. Alright. Seems my vehicle is here to pick me up. You come and say? Nah, I'll stay here a bit longer. Okay then, take care. Stella, that was her name. Bye. Such a worry wart. That means she cares about you. I never doubted. Say, hey, why does my helmet smell like bacon? Uh, bacon? Not that I mind, I'm just curious. Well, you know some things absorb the smell of what's nearby. It must have grabbed it from one of the ingredients. I see. I believe all that stuff about tensions growing in the anarchist group trying to disband the White Knights? To tell you the truth, I am a bit worried. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on, but I don't want to investigate too deeply. What kind of business? What I understand, things like working with human traffickers or drug dealers, letting them act as they wish. Let me even say the ones that do get apprehended are the ones that have failed them in some way. Stella always says the White Knights are just glorified mall security. He says that if it's been proven beyond a doubt that some shady business is going on, Daibatsu Corp's main branch would separate themselves from the whole White Knight division. Something about the associate's fear of bad PR resulting in them moving to the BTC. Sounds plausible. Yeah, it kind of worries me though, because I really like my job. And I guess a similar fear exists among the upper ranks. Lately, they seem restless. 
too much politics, huh? It's my brain. I just want to rescue people and help them. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. What are you doing at the bank tomorrow? My colonel needed to relay some information to my manager and I, and I was picked because he trusted me. Well, he said, you're such a simpleton that you never give the wrong message, but it hits intention with that counts. It's his intention that counts. Oh. Finally! The Dorothy has come back to Valhalla! No, bruh. <laughs> no way. Please refrain from doing those sitcom-like entrances. You're disturbing other clients. The hornball is here. Oh, come on. You know the audience would have gone wild with that one. And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. Ahem. It's uncommon to see you two here. Uh, see you here two days in a row. I wanted to grab something before starting my shift. Grab something before they start grabbing me. You would say, "Oh my God, bro, she never lets up." Hey, you having a drink? Can I buy you one? Why, yes, thank you. Honey, you should follow her example and offer me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I'll have what she's having. And I've got the perfect thing. Let's have a blue fairy. One for both? One for each. All right. The, the blue fairy, the blue fairy. Nice name for a drink. The uh, blue fairy. Two fairies. Hey, this is pretty good. See? And it's blue like your hair. It is. So, what's your name, sweetie? Call me Say. Alright, Say. I'm Dorothy. Say, Say. Yes, yes. Say, Say. Yes, yes. Say, Say. Say, Say. <laughs> say, why did you buy me a drink? I just thought you were cute as a button, so I wanted to invite you to join me. Wow, you have to be the first person to offer me a drink without having an ulterior motive. And that includes fuckboy over there. <laughs> Yo, I love how Gil just be chilling, bro, and they just be talking smack, bro. What do you mean? Trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you learn to read cues from everything. And this girl is simple to a fault. How so? You're the what you see is what you get type. That look on your face is one of the is of one that simply sees no point in lying. Coupled with the fact that you're here in what looks like your work attire tells me. That you're so married to your job that sex is too far down your priority list to notice its existence. So if you invited me to drink because you found me cute, that's the extent of it, I believe you. Thank you. You say she's the first one, but what about deal giving uh, you a ticket the other day? Ooh, oh yeah, the lean with the dogs. No, he doesn't count. He looked like a humanoid mat. Ouch. You seem very perceptive, Dorothy, but I'm not too far behind. How so? I could tell your body is heavily modded with things you shouldn't even have. Your tongue is a. Uh, I'm not saying that. B. Uh, actually, I lied. Uh, BEB069 with DNA scanning capabilities. Your skin is coated with an anti radiation finish. Your joints are all are of the premium extra flexible variety. And the most important thing, your hands. What about them? I don't know. How modded your body is under your clothes, the tongue, joints, and skin are really interesting. But your hands are the, the MERD 113 of Rialta Industry. A model designed to shoot class 5 bullets from its fingertips. S so? Clause G of Article 17 in the Augmentations of and Modifications Law on the topic of ballistic augmentations. Any humanoid or sapient creature under civilian des designation that is upgraded of its person, the whole firearms of class 3 grade or higher will be either commissioned for disarmament or sent to danger zones. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Eh? Sorry about that. I'm not in law enforcement. I just do rescue. Even even if I was, I'm not on duty right now. Oh. 
I want to know why, uh, no though. Why go through with that upgrade? The girl's got to take care of herself, you know? I want to be able to deal with things if they get ugly, and this is the most discreet mod I had. Or at least I thought so. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Not me to tap set. Okay, then can I give you some advice? I guess. The reason I could tell it's not your default hand model is your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the cannons fit. You could get a small mod that changes them into disposable tips. Assuming they're being used for self-defense and not regular use, of course. I see. Well, I've gotta go. Ah, uh, yes, another thing. If you aim for the arms or legs once, once, it's self-defense. Anything more is assault. Yeah, yeah. Bye, Dorothy. Bye, Jill. Bye-bye. He's coming again. <laughs> I just going to take me away. <laughs> yo. I mean, you are, yo, Dorothy's suspect, bro. She's, she's a victim. It would put my mind on a vacuum cleaner for three years. Two if I behave well. That's what happens when you underestimate people. Although, I'm tempted to ask. About what? DNA reading tongue. Very prehen prehensile. Intuitive. Also, it vibrates. Extra flexible joints. You really need to ask? Anti-radiation coating. Hey, my skin's my first tool of my, the trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible. And it makes it feel so soft no matter how much it's been battered. Alright then. So, you fancy yourself a diviner, reading people and all. Not really, I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to hear that from a Ladine. What can you say about me then? Let's see. You're very, very, very sexually frustrated. What? It's not the act itself, but rather that your partners can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. There's an even deeper frustration. Something happened that's blocking you. Maybe there's someone who you know won't return your feelings. Maybe you were hurt in the past. Thus, your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on her. Like a dog whose owner never really throws the ball. Oh boy, did I actually hit the nail on the head? I was making this stuff up on the fly. All of that was just rubbish, I say, because it's right 80% of the time. Generic bullshit, if you will. You'd be surprised at the amount of sexual frustration people hold. I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting on a professional face. But this definitely gives me more of insight into you. Lucky, lucky. Aren't you late or something? I am, but if you'd let me satisfy your frustrations, I could stall for some time. <laughs> Yo! Go. That's what I'm saying. Leave. Bye. Fine. Bye-bye, honey. Artificial intelligence has come rather far, eh? One wonders how artificial it remains. Shut up, fuckboy. <laughs> Everything done? Yeah. Hey boss, this might seem random, but... Do you remember the first time I came to the bar? When you came to submit your contract? Yeah, why? Well, for some reason, I've been hung up on it since this morning. I just realized why. The, the visage that welcomed me back then was Gil trying to pull your hand out of a jar. Oh yeah, that. I can't remember what exactly, but something fell inside and I tried to retrieve it. I just kind of put my hand in it and it got stuck. It was a friend's uh, jar too, so I couldn't just break it. Hey Gil, how did you get my hand out of that jar? A straw and some butter. Oh yeah, clever solution. Yeah, that brings me to the random thought. That incident, the helmet yesterday, the many times your foot got stuck on something for stopping it. Boss, why do you get stuck in so many different things? Huh? Now that you mention it, I remember this one time she tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. Then, 
there was this there was the incident with the TV I'll admit my fault with the others but the TV incident was not my fault <laughs> the assembly instructions for that stand should have been labeled there's Z and S better you saw what happened when I switched the the S2 piece with the 5Z one <laughs> still just on to something here <laughs> yes she is now go clean the dishes and you can leave for today. I like to think she'll make an effort now to avoid getting stuck in things. I want to believe. Ah, here's the paycheck. 2K, baby. 2K. Total earnings 7K, but our total funds is 2K. Okay, they got to take up commissions. And, you know what I'm saying? $600 in tips. Flawless service bonus not granted. Everything will turn out right in the end. Don't worry. 800 has been charged from your account to renew your membership to Shining Fingered. This restriction got renewed. She'll have no problem focusing at work today. Oh, man. I have bank, too. I have bank. Let's buy some before we go. Um. Uh. Buy some cheap. Movie poster. Bro, that costs so much. What? Well, I can buy some tea. Uh. Coveted tea-based liquor tastes like green and tastes like whiskey. Shoulder massage. I might buy this. I feel like there's something. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that could help with the finances here. Instead of just buying like material stuff. Let's buy um shoulder massage. Yeah. Days you built up too much tension. Okay. Well, let's see if there's anything to read before we go. Got the I danger you. Got the opinions. Um, what haven't I read here? Um, I've read this. I don't think I've read this. It's officially happening. What do you think will happen? Probably nothing. The last time was the leaks i think alice jumped the shark that one because it seems hard to top maybe more leaks sounds unlikely i don't think the government will let that happen twice but this is alice we're talking about there's nothing they can do what if that spooky message wasn't really alice but just an epic prank who would hack a site like that just for a prank not me you're right you're right though it might be someone else we'll have to wait and see what was the date again december 17th all right, if only we knew more about the target now. Thick memes, sis. Alice threads piss me off. Fucking celebs. <laughs> what if it has something to do with the terrorism rumors? Okay, let's go to the augmented eye. You wouldn't believe the shocking Alice Rabbit might be Kira. Crime rate up 5% this month. By Kimberly Lavalette. Crime rate is up 5% this month, officially making the road up to... Mega Christmas, a dangerous one. White Knights aware of the situation have promised to maintain security in all sectors. Even though recent budget cuts have been decreasing the morale of their personnel. An uphill battle. Poverty and the lack of opportunity are no longer the main cause of crime. Criminals come from all walks of life. They will murder and distribute drugs for no other reason than the fact that it gives them power. It's no longer about feeding their families. It's about domination. There are entire sectors controlled by these dangerous gangs, and there's no solution in sight. This mega Christmas will be a very dark one. God damn. Okay. There is a lot happening on the web. I will save for making my exit video. So this is a... I feel like the shifts are low-key getting a tiny bit shorter, but... Damn. This, this game, I've been liking it so far. I like the whole, like interacting with the characters and stuff, getting to learn about them and stuff. It's always a nice little chill convo most of the time, most of the time. Except Dorothy. Dorothy is not chill whatsoever, but um, I think I'm going to wrap it up around here. So anyone who is watching this video, I hope y'all have a good day. And I thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this. And as always, I will catch all y'all in the next one. Peace.